Hello and welcome to Brick King. Today I will be reviewing the Pyroraptor and Dilophosaurus transport. This is set 76951 from the 2022 Jurassic World Wave from the film Jurassic World Dominion. This is pra practically just a biosyn jeep. We have had a, something similar to yeah. Well, we haven't had anything similar to this. This is really the closest thing we've had to anything like this before. So I can't really compare it to anything. The vehicle, I can't compare certain other things. Anyway, let's dive right in and look at the figures and the dinosaurs. So this is a generic character called Guard. Um, she has an ordinary hairpiece, the same old um, torso that was originally in the junior sets, but was moved into the ordinary sets. Anyway, so one thing I really don't like is that they have the Jurassic World logo on the back, and this isn't a Jurassic World vehicle. This isn't even an in-gen vehicle. They did the same thing um, for, like, this. This car doesn't even feature in the movie. Don't know why they did that. Anyway, I'm not reviewing that set, I'm reviewing this set. Anyway, they updated the tranquilizer guns, so now they're not green darts, they're yellow darts. Don't know why they felt the need to do that, but they did. Anyway, this is the head of the Star's character Juno, so just being reused, and so it is a double face. That's one side, that is the other. Useful expressions. Now this is a Dilophosaurus, you know, tss, sprat. Yeah, that one. This is one of the... we have only seen one of these in Jurassic Park, the first one. We saw a hologram version of it in Jurassic World, but this is the most size accurate one we have had to date. 
and it's very nice. It doesn't have the um, well, it can't move like the old version, but it is much more accurate. This is the other one from the gift shop thing, and they are exactly the same. No difference. Anyway, so that is that dinosaur. Now this is the Pyroraptor. It's a new animal, and it has feathers, if you haven't already noticed. It has this very distinctive um, feather thing on its head, which arches back. It looks like it's running, which is a good look. Like a velociraptor, it has it has a, a large toe there, which goes click, 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 click. And it has blue feathers there, blue feathers there. The, the main base is a dark orange, and there, there's some red and some very dark brown. It's dual molded, so yeah, this is also dual molded with olive green and brown. That's printing, that's printing. And the eyes are, and the yellow eyes are printing. Anyway, on the box, that, it does not have any studs on it. In reality, it does have a stud on it. Anyway, this can open. What, two points there and there, which is good. This is the same. They're very, very similar. Only aesthetically are they different. Even with their feet positions, they're the same. Which means that they can both be in the vehicle, but we'll get to that later. Anyway, time to look at the other figures. This just comes off, but I'll get to that later. So here is old Ellie Sattler and old Ian Malcolm. Old Alan Grant comes in a much larger set. And anyway, so there's a nice transition of skin tone into the torso, which is a not that common. Um, the torso print, the, well, the legs are unprinted. That's the back, and all of the characters have alternate faces. This one's a scared expression. The guard has an angry expression. Ian Markham also has a scared expression. Anyway, that's just the torso. Being the light just right. And yeah, that's all I have to say about her. This is Ian Malcolm. This is not the first Ian Malcolm we have had. Though it is the first version of him old. We've also had younger versions of her. Anyway, the transition of skin tone from the head to the torso was not as good this time. It's a bit paler there, which is not as good. They did it much better in this figure of Ian Malcolm from that uh, Bricktober set back in 2018. Glasses main they both have glasses torsos are similar both have unprinted legs anyway this guy is not included so yeah and yeah so he has this hairpiece which is in grey different hairpiece to this not just a wee colour and that is his head and that is his scared expression Utterly terrified. Okay, so now let's go on to the vehicle. First I'll just look at the trailer briefly. So this trailer has a ramp. You see it has this thing there which keeps it upright so it won't like fall forward if it's detached. And this ramp goes down and an animal, say a pyroraptor, can come up these things can move. Each one has a Technic pin and well, they're, they're connected by Technic pins here. Um, each one has a friction and each one has a frictionless pin. So yeah. Anyway, the Pyroraptor would be escorted up here and then there are some spots there perfectly placed for the feet. So that is how they attach very nicely. 
this can come up if you wanted to and these come in place. Don't know how it keeps them in place. It can just run forward. Maybe it's kind of like a force field, something like that. Anyway, the film has not yet been released, so I can't say much more about it. Anyway, the Dilophosaurus can also go in, as its feet positions are identical to the Pyroraptor. That's what it looks like. Inside. Very nice. Oh, uh, sorry about that. I just noticed this piece is supposed to be here. Very, very sorry about that. But yeah. Anyway, I did do a speed build of this. If you check my other videos, you will see it if you want more information on this set. So that is that. It can fold out fully like that. And can connect to the main vehicle by a ball and socket joint. Quite common in vehicles. Anyway, we've looked at that now. Now let's look at the Jeep. Here it is. This is a Biosyn Genetics Jeep. Biosyn stands for Biological Synthetics and that word underneath it, if you don't see it, is Genetics. A yeah, genetics company. Uh, like bio Biosyn um, is like Manticore, InGen, GeneTech. GeneTech is from the books, not the movies. Anyway, it has a small, I believe it to be a fire extinguisher, though there is no description. It could be like something to hold embryos. Maybe they found the thing that Dennis Nedry did, but uh, still, but I doubt it. Probably just a fire extinguisher. And on this side is one of those electric poles. The the older ones had a blue tip. Now they're all using yellow tips for some reason. Well, it is a different company. Anyway, this is a three long bar. The old ones had a four long bar. Let's say the hilt there in black. And this is also in black. And there's a see-through yellow tip there. Also along the... Also on them. So that just connects there. This set only has three stickers in it and that and one of them is there on the hood by some genetics. One of them is there on the hood on well there by some genetics and then by some genetics. Yeah there fun fact there is actually a company called Biosyn Genetics um in the US which is a genetics company. No, um, nothing to do with the one in Jurassic Park or World, depending on which one you look at. So, yeah. Oh, and Lewis Dogson, who is the Dogson person in the first Jurassic Park, was an employee for Biosyn. So, yeah. This isn't the first time we have seen Biosyn. Though he wasn't really wear wearing the company logo. Anyway, now let's have a look inside. There are two mirrors here. They really annoyed me while building it. I, I'm, as I try to put them exactly in the same angle, which is very hard. Anyway, there's also a bar piece there, and another bar piece there, and a grill piece there, which is nice. There's some lights, and yeah. Anyway, now let's look inside. So this opens up, and there's this tray. Now, another set comes with the tray, and that would be the large um, Therosaurus versus Gigantosaurus um, attack set. And it comes with a helicopter, which has a slot where it can store something of exactly that shape. You see this set, you see this build here, doesn't have any railings on it, so it does not need those pieces. The thing on the other set does need those pieces. So... So you could probably put the thing from the that goes in the helicopter of the other set, it's red, and put it in there, and you can put this in a helicopter, vice versa. Anyway, this has two clips on it, and it can hold one gun, and the other person's gun. So, yeah. Some storage. The, thing com the set comes with three figures, but only room for two inside. It's also got some kind of dish, maybe radio. Some kind of communications dish. 
anyway that just slides in nicely nothing holding it in place and this goes on if you push it too far it will go in like that but so you have to not push it in too far anyway now let's look inside this whole section here lifts off you have to be careful not to lift from the and not to lift from the hood or this would happen it happened to me a few times while setting up the video anyway it's got some shiny inga pieces there and the hood is only held on by two held on by two studs there and there now it uses one by two hopper pieces in dark red to hold them in and that's how they manage to fit in two figures side by side it's fairly easy to do and yeah that's it so yeah it's not that hard to put them in anyway the main this is in dark tan this is in light tan and that's in dark red again kind of like the Jurassic Park colors anyway there's something blocking so you can't like go in there if you really wanted to you could put a minifigure in there but they would only be in there they won't be able to like there won't be any studs holding them down so she can just stay there and you can close it up now with the roof on anyway the price for this set is good I think it comes with some good dinosaurs and a really cool vehicle anyway the spare pieces for this set for me were these so it does come with a spare syringe on the top of the box here it shows her holding the syringe so maybe it's not a spare and you're supposed to give it to her anyway that's the front of the box that is the back and I noticed a problem with the measurements over here oh yeah there's some stuff there so yeah, anyway I've noticed a problem with the measurements here so here it says that this is 2 meters tall 5 feet here it said that this is 1.7 meters tall 5.57 meet, feet so this one's shorter meters but tall in feet this one's tall in meters but shorter than feet. There's a mistake there. Anyway, the six meters, two or four meters, anyway. So that is that. As always, I hope you like and subscribe my video, click the notification bell, watch my other videos, and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.